Hi friends, welcome back to my second layout for January 2020 Mini Kit Monday. I'm working on my bingo board and I've already done this row. So then what I thought I would do is I printed out this photo really quick. It is my daughter and her boyfriend wearing Snapchat mustaches. And so I looked at that and he is wearing a black shirt. So I went into my paper and found a black pattern paper. So that's polka dot. So then I decided to just go ahead and use this row here. So the next thing I had to find is something with green on it. And the only green anything in my kit that I found was this green stripe right here. I have my corner rounder. I've got these buttons that weren't in my original filming of my kit because I finally found some buttons. And I have these wood veneer. So I have that going. I came up with my title already, which is You Rock a, St a Sweet Stash. So I have that. I've got my paper. I know what I have to use, which is already on my desk. Okay, I don't have to have to use it, but I want to use it because I like to be challenged. So now I'm going to go hunt down a little extra inspiration and I'll come back and start scrapping. Here we go. All righty, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this gorgeous diagonal stripe to the far left on this layout. And you know, it's it's just, I don't know, just a happy color. It reminds me of Fruit Stripes gum. Do you guys remember that ze like zebra stripes gum that had flavor for like two seconds? We're digressing. Anywho, I'm trying to take a look to see what uh, or what, if any, of these washi tape will look good with this layout. I'm going to have to struggle this one a tiny bit. I just couldn't get it off the backing. So, it's definitely washi. You can see through it. And it, I mean, on the book, it was black and white. But I still like the little separate, I don't know, like like the um, texture is just a little bit different. It, it has that slight shine to it. And I do like that look. And I'm also going to go ahead and put... Well, it's about a centimeter wide. I didn't really measure it. Um, a piece of pattern paper on there as well. It ends up kind of giving it a finished look, I guess. So now I have the basis, I guess the basics, the basis of my background done. I'm going to go ahead and map my photo up. Okay, I matted my photo several times with the paper in my kit, and I'm going to use a corner rounder on the very last mat. Oh, yeah, on the very last mat. And I'm really liking the look of that. And probably because I haven't used a corner rounder in forever. So it's kind of fun. I have the title already, which is You Rock a Sweet Stash. And yeah, and it's, it's like trying to figure out, all right, how do I want to do it? Which now that I, I, did the um, base of my layout. It's funny. Sometimes you're like, do I like it like this? Do I like it like that? And nine times out of 10, you go back to your original idea. So I've gone ahead and put some twine in my buttons. I've got some wood veneer out and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, test out my little rub-ons. I'm going to put them on a little, just a little piece of scrap paper because I want to be able to punch them out and I thought they would show up a whole lot better if they had a white background as opposed to you know just just what is on the rub-ons. Um, I have a fairly strong color background and polka dots and all that kind of stuff so I wanted to have just a little extra of a pop and they do end up coming off perfectly and my punch is about spot on as well. I wasn't sure. I'm on the hunt for a one and a half inch punch. I think that's the size that I've been missing out on. So I've gone ahead and auditioned all the different elements that might possibly work that are in this kit. Now it doesn't mean I'm gonna use everything that I have out, but it they are the options that I'm interested in. So I'm you know gonna place the title and of course with chipboard, you have to work through the process a little bit with uh, making them cooperate with a little liquid adhesive. All right, we have our title down and you can see it way better in person. I know it's black on black, but sometimes I like that kind of thing as well. I'm going to go ahead and use the corner rounder again on 
this little die cut piece. I thought I should have rounded corners on more than one area. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that really big piece as a secondary cluster area. And now this is where it gets kind of fun because we get to just start tucking all kinds of goodies. Now on this piece that you see there, I only use the corner rounder on the two left sides of the corners because I knew I would be tucking the right sides of the die cut in on the picture, so why waste the time? And yeah, this is just my very favorite part. It's the decorating part. So I'm taking all these different little pieces that I have and seeing how I might be able to build it out. So I'm gonna have quite a large cluster that's gonna go across with the photo. I'm gonna pop this cute little fox guy that has nothing to do with this layout whatsoever, but the color is spot on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop him up on a little foam tape and have him rest on top of that black arrow. So I found this me and you die cut and I thought that was perfect. Pop that up on foam tape as well. And it's, yeah, it's me and you meaning, you know, my daughter and the boyfriend, but I thought it was so cute and so well put together. Now that little tiny uh, clear bin you see there, I have, gosh, what do they come in a pack of 10 maybe from the dollar store? They are awesome to put sequins in and I keep my little off cuts from my, uh, my, um, what do you call it? Fun foam in them as well. So I had a, a little bit of an awkward space right there under the word you. So I put a little die cut piece there, or actually it was the rub on piece that I turned into a die cut. And as you see, I'm just kind of popping little circle elements here and there. That is one of these acrylic flare badges. And I love the acrylic ones. I, they lay flatter than the, the kind of like metal based ones. And I so dig them. I need to get these buttons on as they're part of my bingo challenge. And let me tell you, when I was putting this kit together, because I wanted to have an element from each thing that was on the bingo board, I had to hunt and hunt. And I finally came across these uh, little metal, metal buttons in a hand-me-down um, set of supplies that somebody gave me. So I think, well, I don't know, but I think I might have one of these buttons left, maybe all the buttons I have in my entire stash. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I do like the added metal kind of a vibe on this. I'm trying to figure out where these wood veneer pieces are going to be the best suited, and I decide to make another little cluster up on the uh, upper right of my photo. And I'll just sprinkle these on, and you know, this is more of a whimsical layout, and I'm not trying to be too uh, precious about the design on this one. It's just for fun. So I also am going ahead and putting three of the little brads in here. I had a kind of a home collection of brads, but I've been able to use, I think I used six this month that I wouldn't have pulled out if they weren't in my kit. So I consider it a win and you know, it's, they definitely weren't from the same manufacturers or anything like that. So that is cool to get some more of my goodies used up. So, oh, down below, I'll go ahead and put the links of the rest of the mini kit Monday ladies. They are ever so talented and so much fun and some of the best gal pals you could uh, possibly come up with. So go ahead and take a look and see what they came up with this month. Now, these are some enamel dots slash shapes from Gossamer Blue, and I'm able to get a bunch of them on. I'm working my way through this little pack of them. So I get a bunch of them on and they just kind of, you know, for some reason, enamel dots or sequins, you know, those little bits, they are the best little finishing touches. They really kind of complete your layout, or at least they do for me. I'm going to go ahead and use just a little bit of Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold on this layout. I think you guys see me use this mist way too much. And quite frankly, A, because I use gold as my main metallic but it also sits just to the left of my desk on this little cart I have. So this one of those, as long as I can see them, they will get used. So there's all kinds of goodies that are on my layout. I hope you like what I did today and I'll see you guys ever so soon.